Welcome back to another of my DocuSign Quick Tip series videos and in this one you're going to learn how you can get a DocuSign field to automatically copy the data of another field. Sometimes you'll want the data contained in one field to copy in other fields and this feature is called data replication. So let's take this document as an example. So I'm in a template and so you can see that on this document we are asking for the signer to provide their address and so we've got the address line one, the city, the state and the zip. And so in this envelope or in this template we've got two documents. We've got the one we're looking at now and we've also got a W9. And so on this W9 the signer of the envelope will also need to provide their address uh, which is just here. So if you use data replication instead of asking your signers to enter the information in the W9 and in the bank form um, you can get your signers to enter the information in one or the other and then the address will copy in the other document. So how does that work? And just before I get into this if you are starting with DocuSign and want to learn a bit about envelopes, fields and templates how they work you can access my free DocuSign crash course following the link in the description of this video. Well it's very simple um, so once you add your field on the document what you need to do is you need to customize the label so each field has a label so those are already on the document I'm just going to add another one to show you and do it live with you so I just dragged a new field a new text field on my document and so by default DocuSign will create a data label and so that's the data label that we want to change so we can call the data label whatever we want let's just call it um, label one for example and so that's basically it now if i want the information that's contained in this field to copy into another field i'm just going to add my other field and i'm going to call this field label one as well and so automatically DocuSign tells us that the entries will populate across those two fields and I can add an un unlimited number of fields with the same label so if I enter something here then the data will copy automatically in this one and vice versa so if I enter something here the data will update there so that's basically the principle and so what you need to do in your template and in your envelopes when you're creating them is to customize a label and think about the architecture of the data that you want to copy so for example in this example we've got the address line one so we've got address line one here and if I go in my other document which is the W9 I've called this one address line one also so if I do a recipient preview I can test that the data replication is working by entering an address And so the address has now been entered on the W9. Let's just check that it's copied in the other document. And yes, we can see that the address is exactly the same as the one we've entered in the W9. And so this is a passive feature, meaning that you don't need to activate anything for it to work. Uh, and if you don't want it to work for a specific field, just make sure that the label is not the same. That's basically it. You also need to be aware of a couple of limitations. The data replication in your field will only work across fields uh, who are owned by the same recipient and across fields of the same type. So obviously we can't get data to copy from a text field into a dropdown and for, from a dropdown into a checkbox. But you can make the data replication work between uh, drop-down fields um, with the same, of the same label and between checkboxes that have the same label as well. Now you also want to be mindful about the validation rules that you add to your field. So um, if you add a validation to your text field, for example, and you say that this field is a numbers field or letters field, the validation needs to be the same um, for all your fields where you want the data to copy. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. And equally, you don't want to use the read only option on fields where you want the data to copy. It's just not going to work. I hope this video was helpful. I upload weekly content on DocuSign and electronic signature in general. If you want to be notified the next time I upload one, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out my other tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Ciao.